Dr. Jotty is very different from any other practitioner that I've seen. And I, again, 20 years of this, I, you know, every time I find somebody new, I think, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> I didn't know this, there was such and such uh, a thing out there. But, you know, I, I still have a hard time wrapping my head around it. Um, uh, you know, Kim, to, I'll, for my own sake, I'll, you know, the simple terminology will be functional neurology. Um, but Dr. Jotty, who has developed his own system of um, uh, brain organ remapping, uh, if I just kind of think about that, it, it makes a lot of sense. So everything that I've been doing, you know, whether it's medical doctors or chiropractic or uh, myofascial or acupuncture, um, is all dealing with symptoms. Mm -hmm. So even though I've um, made it a point to go the non-drug route, they were still just band-aids. And what's been frustrating is that there's no, there's no long-term relief, which is why I think I started to just give up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and I've got things at home that I do, but you know, they just help me to get through moments of my day. If I have a good day, it's usually just hours, and then I know that eventually I will not feel good again. And there's nothing more disheartening or tiring about knowing that you don't have a permanent solution, uh, which is why I kept researching. But I, I believe that um, the Dr. Jotty's approach starts where you needed to start, which is you right. need to make sure that you're integrated. I mean, if you if you if you're disintegrated, how can any of your organs continue to function other than with a band aid? That band aid eventually falls off. So, although I don't understand the science behind it, to me, systems integration sounds like what my husband does, which is <laughs> science, you know, mm -hmm. and and the left brain stuff. I just appreciate that God has given him the talent and the ability to um, pursue and, and create and develop something so unique mm -hmm. that I, I feel like I can work with it, you know? I mean, it's not like I'm going to feel good, you know, mm -hmm. for the next half hour like I normally do with other treatments and then be done. I am, I have been feeling good day by day and better and better over the last few days, several days, and I um, I will continue that journey. I, I, there are things that I must do in order to help my body uh, continue on this journey of health, and um, there's, there's no going the other direction. There's no backing out. <laughs> so systems integration diagnostic treatment um, is Dr. Jotty's creation or what he's developed yes. and uh, again although I don't understand all the science behind it um, I couldn't even begin to explain to you the treatment protocols <laughs> and <laughs> how they actually work to do what they've done yes. uh, in my body but um, all I care about is how I'm feeling mm -hmm. however I do um, so what I've been told and what I understand now is that we have many different layers. Uh, thank goodness, right? So um, so that if uh, you start shutting down, you don't just completely go go down. Mm. Uh, there's backup, you know, um, backup systems, systems yeah. within your body that help to keep survive and help you to survive. Um, but um, I, you know, so for myself, what I've been feeling is a smoothness. So as opposed to, um, if, if anybody's uh, anybody out there is irritable, uh, they understand that everything, life is just a bunch of staccatos and uh, it's, it's just very annoying um, and you, you just don't feel in control. Um, I just, there's a fluidity that is indescribable mm -hmm. really um, that is happening within myself um, and it starts with my calmness in my mind and my body. It is the ease of breathing and being able to take in that oxygen and actually having it nourish um, my entire body. 
uh, my organs. And, um, you know, from there, it's, you know, I, I constantly had tingling in my fingers. I, in fact, uh, the first or second, I remember night I was here, I had to call the paramedics because mm -hmm. um, I thought I was having a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And then um, my body did something weird and I went into convulsions. My mom was terrified. She, my eyes were uh, going every which direction and um, my entire body was convulsing uh, while we were at dinner. Um, and so it, again, it's just these, uh, the malfunction is erratic. So uh, erratic, um, staccato, kind of are the two words that have come up in my mind when I think about when you're going haywire. Um, when your system is integrated and the layers are beginning to heal, mm -hmm. um, I feel that they're just, I mean, if this is what normal feels, I love it. Um, <laughs> I have faith that what Dr. Jotty has been able to do and what my body, how my body's been able to respond, that I know that I can take this home with me and mm -hmm. continue that. I mean, that is yes. probably the most important thing for myself is um, knowing that I will continue to heal, I will continue to get stronger and um, feel better, uh, be able to smile more and, you know, hopefully be a, a blessing to other people. Um, I don't remember feeling this good in so long that, um, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I think people who get stuck in that loop, you just, you think that's your new normal. And, mm -hmm. and I have to say, if, if that's how you're feeling, please, please, you know, reevaluate, um, the value of, of your life and what you have to still contribute to your family, your friends, your community, and um, to be stuck in that mode and just be, you know, being in survival on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. is not the way to live. And you don't have to. And I'm here to tell you <laughs> that Dr. Jotty with his brain organ remapping the systems integration it makes sense, you know, he, you know, and, and I'll have to tell you that, yeah, you can go to all of these other practitioners and they'll explain to you their modalities or their methodology, but, um, and it sounds convincing until you go and try it and it doesn't last. And I think the key here is that I've been here for several days and I have continued to see gradual improvement. It's not a stop start. It's not, I feel, you know, after treatment I go back mm -hmm. and I feel good for half an hour and then I feel horrible again. Mm -hmm. I don't have that cycle anymore and I'm off of that wheel um, or that vicious cycle, which is foreign to me. <laughs> I'm so used to waiting for that ball to drop and to feel awful again and I'm not feeling that. And it's just amazing. Um, the short story of the long is that I, I my whole research really was um, because I wasn't taking care of myself. Um, I wasn't in the picture. Uh, I knew things were wrong, but uh, unfortunately, I was in my own um, kind of like the, the rat on the on the wheel. <laughs> I was kind of in my own um, world of uh, denial maybe or or just not being able to process what I needed to although deep down inside I knew I needed to take care of myself I was still just more focused on taking care of my family so I do have my um, 80 almost 84 year old mom with me and um, you know my, my husband also uh, I, I think of all these people who who Dr. Jotty can actually help now that I've been through it um, but they were my my primary concern um, but I, I have been told and retold that unless I take care of myself, and of course I already know this, that there's just no way that, I mean, I'm just not going to be here. I'm not, I'm just not going to be able to function without, you know, having my health back. Um, and now that I have a, um, now that I've experienced that, um, I don't want anybody to take it away from me again. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is hard of hearing 
and she's elderly. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of um, patience um, to smile and to repeat and to just love on her, you know, for who she is. Mm -hmm. And I had absolutely, my tank, my tank was empty. Mm -hmm. I, it, was, it was not only empty, but it was filled with poison. Mm -hmm. And um, I was not able to handle it. And I just, I, you know, then I thought it was just her, but now that I'm better, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with her. She's who she is. And um, the fact that I can actually um, uh, communicate with her in a loving manner mm -hmm. and um, be kind to her, actually, she's getting better. <sighs> so, um, so there is hope. <laughs> And more, and like that's what I'm saying. So, for people who are on that vicious cycle, uh, that endless loop of feeling horrible, few minutes of feeling good, and you know, 90% of your day you're feeling awful, please, you know, give Dr. Jotty an opportunity to to help you feel better. Like I said, because there is so much more of life to live, and there's so much that you can do with that life if you choose to to make a difference in other people's lives. Mm -hmm.